in this video I will talk about load case okay so how to use load case and uh, how to get the results from the load cases okay load case is very useful concept in Abacus where you can combine multiple loads uh, using superimpose principle to get the results okay so let's get started and let's see how it is done in Abacus I have a model prepared already I will just change a few things and demonstrate how to uh, use load cases okay let me briefly talk about this model okay this is a composite slab and it has pressure load and gravity load I will try to scale gravity load and pressure load with different values and see how results differ okay I'm not concerned about the results but the process how to use the load cases so let's let me demonstrate it okay so let me go to step module first and step manager previously I was using stress analysis I step static journal with non-linear capability on okay but in load case this step is not supported so I will change it I will click on replace and I will go to linear perturbation and static linear perturbation step okay so click on that and continue just there is no options so click OK and uh, the stress analysis static linear perturbation has been created okay so now we will go to load let me do one thing more that uh, predefined field I have used temperature in this model so I will have to delete it because it is not supported um, in load cases so I will delete it click OK and done okay if you haven't used this that's not problem okay but in my model I have used this uh, temperature uh, to see the effect uh, in the in the com composite slab so I need to delete okay because I am going to use load cases and temperature predefined temperature field is not supported by load cases okay so now I will go to load and manager since I have previously created loads and I will use these loads in load cases okay so I will not uh, edit them just to show how what values I am using uh, I will show you gravity I am using 9.81 meter per second square in negative jet direction okay and pressure I am using something like this 670280 Pascal okay you may change it you may want to change it or uh, you want to use some different pressure so you can change it okay that's not a problem but I'm I'm not going to change it I will keep it as it is let's click OK so I have gravity load and I have pressure load now I will go to load case manager create and create a load case one okay let's continue and now I will click here and click add there we have the loads which I have defined in load load menu okay so gravity load and pressure load so I will select gravity and you can use some scale factor I will use now for now one scale factor click OK and again I will add pressure one scale factor click OK okay so gravity has one scale factor and pressure has one scale factor that means the scale factor means the the values which I have used in load that means gravity has negative 9.81 Per a meter per second square and pressure has something like seven six seven zero and something like that okay so those values will not be scaled or scaled to one 
and they will add up to be applied on the model okay so the scale factor 1 is meant by this so I will click OK so there is one we have load case 1 and that has scale factor 1 and 1 for gravity and pressure let's create one more load case okay so create load case 2 and click add same gravity now I will change I will not change gravity I will keep it the factor 1 and I will add pressure click OK and I will choose a scale factor 1.6 for pressure okay so basically the pressure has been scaled to 1.6 times the pressure value given in the load module load load menu okay so I will click OK this is the power of load case okay so in one analysis you have you are going to uh, have results for different load combinations okay just one analysis it can be done otherwise like uh, for one load combination you have one analysis for other load combination you have another analysis so you you may end up creating uh, different different analysis files and multiple files okay so but using load case you can just create one analysis and in that analysis you will have results for different different load combinations this is the power of load case okay so let's dismiss it so now I will go to job module and click job and I will just submit this analysis in a few seconds we will have the results the error message says that history output is not supported by this step uh, and it, it will be ignored okay so there is no problem we don't want history output so click yes and now analysis has submitted okay now analysis has completed now we will get the results okay so just highlight this analysis and click on result okay let me uh, just increase these fonts because here the load cases are listed so let me increase these fonts go to viewport viewport and ocean options and click state block set font 14 bold click on these also and now we have just uh, bigger fonts okay so now this is the result okay now if you remember the load cases are listed here okay load case 2 this is load case second where we have used gravity for a scale factor 1 and uh, the pressure load with a scale factor 1.6 okay and let's go back to load case 1 just by clicking on this back arrow or previous okay just click on that and we will have this result load case 1 you will notice that the values of 1 minus stress changes here okay let me show once more time this is load case 1 where we have used gravity with a scale factor 1 and pressure with a scale factor 1 let's go to next load case that is load case 2 by clicking the next arrow we will have we, will, we have access the load case 2 and now you will see that one minus stress has changed okay just let me show once more look at this this is for load case 1 and the maximum one minus stress is 3.3 uh, e8 okay uh, Pascal and for the load case 2 the uh, maximum stress is 5.3 times 10 to the power 8 okay so in a single analysis we have two different results for two different combination of load factor okay so this is the power of load case 
and it is very useful when you have to uh, iterate different different combination of the load and see what effects uh, are visible or what are the effects of different load combinations okay so I think this is quite helpful and uh, this is it this is how we use load cases thanks for watching